All right, this is a very, very random video. An extra video for the day. I already made a video today. In fact, I made two videos today. Uh, my wife actually made one. But I am driving on the way to Washington Park. Uh, trying to be a little bit of a fighter pilot here using my phone on the steering wheel. Today at the park I had a very interesting adventure with my son and quite randomly at the at the playground there was an abandoned can of Dr. Pepper on the park bench. And I'm, I just could not help but drive to the park and see if that Dr. Pepper is still here. It might be, it might not. But I just need to know. I'm not going to leave the car running, though. Oh, so let's go take a look. I was snuggling my wife on the couch. And said to myself, darling, I just need to know if that Dr. Pepper is still there or not. Because if it is, that means no one's coming back for it. This has been, what, five, five hours or so since I've been at the park? Pretty close. So if that Dr. Pepper is still there, it don't belong to anybody. Hey Doc, how you doing? There's quite a bit of Dr. Pepper left in here too. Now, I was just talking to my wife about, quite mysteriously, the last four sodas that I have found abandoned have been some form of Dr. Pepper. I found the one, I have it like taped inside of my refrigerator, do not open. I found the two liter with a good eight ounces or so left in the bottom of it. That's in my garage. I found the strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper can with a little bit in the bottom of it at the YMCA. So this is Dr. Pepper number four. There's been no Pepsi. There's been no Mountain Dew. There's been no Coca-Cola. There's been no Sprite. That's a nice sweatshirt, but I'm not gonna take that. But I am gonna take this Dr. Pepper. I'm not gonna drink it. I'm just gonna take it home. Because I don't think anybody in the world wants this Dr. Pepper. Except me. And maybe a guy named Dominic. <laughs>